not. You come to me, and I will tell you no. Allah is saying, I will, you, if you want to come to me, then follow my agents. And who are my agents? Sirat al lazina an'amta alayhim. My agents are those people whom I have blessed so much. So much blessing I have given them. When you will follow them, automatically they will show you the way to me. What does that mean for us? If we want to come closer to Allah, we have to follow those people whom Allah has blessed. Allah. The Prophet was amazing. We are in the month of Milad al Nabi. We cannot say enough about the Prophet. But do you know? When you come to the person who has been blessed by Allah, when you come to the person who has been blessed by our Lord, do you know what the status of that person is? Come, let me give you an example. Our Jaddi Amjad, Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq, radiallahu ta'ala. The way which Allah ordained. Sir Ihdina Sirat al Mustaqim. Who did he follow? He followed the Prophet. In every aspect of his life, he followed the Prophet. He followed that person whom Allah had blessed so much. Do you know that what happened to the Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq? Followed the Prophet when Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq when he died, all his life he spent in service of the Prophet all his life he spent in love of Rasulullah all his life he wanted to meet his Lord through the wasila of the Prophet. Following the, following the people whom Allah has blessed. Following the people whom Allah has blessed. What happens? Strange things begin to happen. That person whom when we want to know Allah, when we start to follow, your own questions are beginning to be answered. The questions that you have, your maqam. Similarly, if you look at the Sahaba, the followers of the Prophet, each and every one of 
them with their particular qualities. They had so much faith in the person who had been blessed by Allah so much, i.e. the Prophet that when we study their life, we see that the amount of blessings that Allah bestowed upon them. Why is it that today we think that being religious is for people who maybe do not have enough money? Why is it that being religious is thought that a person who is religious maybe is a little bit backward? We live in an environment where our material wealth, what we have, our homes, our cars, are the indications of our success. But Hazrat when we think about Islam and religion, we put it to one side. And we think maybe the people who are following Islam, the people who are religious, maybe they are a little bit backward. They are living 1400 years ago. They are living in a different generation. No. To be successful in this materialistic world, we are not suggesting that you should isolate yourself from materialism. No. What we are saying is, there must be a balance. There is nothing wrong in obtaining materialism. But if your materialism is hijacked, your love for money is hijacked. Your love for wealth is hijacked. Your love for your name is hijacked. To the extent that you forget Allah, you forget his Rasul, you forget his Deen, then I'm afraid this is nothing for you. We talked about Bismillah. Do you know that your cars, our cow cars, our homes, our wealth will not do us any good when we die. We have only a small space of our grave. We cannot fit everything into that grave. We are not like Tutankhamun in, in Egypt, where when they used to die, they used to put all the gold and the wealth in the grave and then they used to seal the grave. No. Gone are those days. When you go into our grave, when we go into our grave, what do we take with us? We take absolutely nothing with us. And your cars and our wealth and our materialism will have no meaning. What will have meaning is show the conduct that you have conducted yourself during your life. You have to take your amal with you. You have to take your deeds with you. You have to show Allah what you did on this earth. The good things that you did. Because it's those good things which will be beneficial to you in your grave. You can't say to Allah, Ya Allah, I live in the most exclusive part of Holland. I live in the most expensive part and I provide it for my family. In this way. No. That is fine if you do that. And if you're lucky enough, Alhamdulillah. But the first thing Allah will ask you is your own conduct.